Halo, everybody. It's Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your weekend hope from Spirit. All right. Let's see what's going on for the weekend hope from Spirit. What cards do I want to use, Divine? These ones? All right. We'll use these ones. This is the Mystical Shaman deck. I believe. Yeah, Mystical Shaman Oracle Guidebook. I just want to make sure it's the right one. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> yep. All right. So we're going to pull three cards. Actually, you know what? I might pull three from three different decks. That would be kind of fun. We'll see. We will see what we will see. So first card out we have for the weekend hope. What are we focus on? What are we looking towards? What does divine want us to know? What does divine want us to know most? Right there. Owl. The owl. Card number 39. That's the number three. Reduces to a three. Twelve reduces to a three. So what are we creating through our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? There's something that you know that you should know it because you can. Yep. True words that. Now we're going to use this one. I don't use very often. It's the Fern Blessings card by Lucy Cavendish. Healing gifts and shining treasures from the realm of the enchantment. I wonder sometimes if fairies are real, but then I guess I have to wonder if angels are real. I wonder sometimes if elves are real, and then I guess I have to wonder sometimes if spirit guides and shamans are real. Are gnomes real? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I think someone's sitting there trying to figure out what's real and what's not. Uh, it's almost like a, a bit of illusion going on. Which doesn't surprise me, being we have Neptune or things going on in Pisces right now. Mars is in Pisces or heading there. I don't know if it's there yet. It's heading there. Which is all about our warrior planet. The get, get up and go planet. But in Pisces, it's kind of like dreamy and <laughs> hmm, emotional. Yep. Oh, look at that bottom card. It's beautiful. The blessings of the mothers. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. Someone could be having a blessing or a time, a party, a something from their mom, for their mom. Something about a blessing. Your mom maybe is a very big blessing to you. A blessing of power. Look at that. Card number 25 equals a 7, which is all about manifesting spirituality. Spiritual journey in some way, shape, or form. What card's next, Divine? What card's next? That one? Okay. This one's next. Spirit M Oracle. So we have three, seven, there's some sort of duality going on here. The higher self talking to the lower self. Why do I feel like someone's higher self and someone else's higher self are getting together and try and create something between the two? But there's something about the coming together of yet. Well, I got three cards out here. Sweet results await. Look at that. Card number seven again. Hmm. Interesting. So we have creating... The movement towards a very spiritual journey, the understanding, falling into your power. I'm saying falling into because I don't even think you understand how powerful you are and the sweet results that are going to come from that. That's beautiful. That's the message I'm getting already. All right, let's start with this one, card number 39, the owl. Owl is the master of the night. She can see situations with perfect clarity, more so when it is dark, and it and is able to discern truth when others 
are sightless. She helps you find your light and your lightness in the darkest moments of your life and to embrace the night as your ally. Owl can bring you messages from the invisible world. She opens your ears so that you may hear the voices of the ancestors and you may acquire their wisdom and make it your own. Look around you, notice every detail and find the hidden messages brought to you by Owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to the friend who shows you what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facets of the diamond without judgment. Remember that the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the parts of you that you do not want to recognize. Do not be afraid of the truth as it will become your compass. Owl guards against self-deception and insights that your motives be pure and transparent to all. What is the message that you are not hearing, the situation you are not seeing with clarity? Owl invites you to wait patiently, bide your time until it is the right time to act. Then do so decisively with no hesitation or remorse. So there's something about absolute clarity. Look at the eyes in this owl. Like determination, fierceness, like that is just powerful. And hence the power here, stepping into your power as we move forward. So let's pull some tarot based on this here. Okay. Let's pull some tarot. I had to get my new tarot card deck. My other ones are starting to look kind of grubby. All right. Let's get some tarot on the owl. What is it we need to see with absolute clarity? Who is going to shed clarity on a situation for us? And what's happening with this owl here? So we have the divine working in the background on your emotions. Uh, healing. There's some sort of emotional healing that's going on here. Um, part of Sagittarius. Being that Sagittarius is in the south node, I almost feel like someone feels they can't move forward or do something or make decisions until they've healed emotionally. But the truth of the situation is, in order to move forward and have those emotions healed, perhaps you need to move forward first. We wait in a lot of stagnancy because we say we're healing, but a lot of times that can be yeah, an excuse to stay in hanged man mode and sacrifice our energy, our time, even the divine's energy and time. Looking for clarity from the divine, I believe there's something you already have clarity on. I'm really getting that you already have this clarity and it's time to move forward. It's like you're waiting and you're being patient for the signs to move forward. But why do I feel like the divine's already giving you the signs and it's just that movement? movement. Hmm. What's this about? Staying in hanged man mouth. This is a wise owl. Perhaps you've already received, received the clarity, you're just waiting to move. So there's something about, I believe, blocking out something the divine is trying to tell you for absolute purpose. Or maybe not blocking it out, but in wait for the perfect time to move forward, waiting for that opportunity to come. Perhaps you feel like you're out in the cold and you there's something that you're not aware of, but perhaps you're waiting for the job offer, the money to come your way. Well, this is all about what you want to create and what you create about six uh, will bring fruition forward in about six months from now. We got the five and one equals six. There's something about I can't even say someone needs healing in perception around money. It's almost like are are you the type of person that walks away from everything? Or have you become because you have you have this motion forward it's like Nope, that's not going to work for me. Up and I walk away. And then after you've walked away, you sit there in hangman mode asking the divine for clarity. Feeling out in the cold, even though you're the one that walked away. 
and there's an opportunity that comes to you. But when you're feeling out in the cold, do you leave things before their expiration date has happened? Is someone giving up on faith here, giving up on hope? It could be that you're in wait to receive communication about a job and you're giving up hope while you're waiting. Or this could be about, well, anything. It could be about having the opportunity, staying in this energy, but having the opportunity to build something for yourself. This is the entrepreneur, knows what he wants, knows what he doesn't want, knows how to create, but whether he's going to grasp that wand there and actually create with it's another story. Sometimes it's easier to sit there and that energy instead of taking that step forward. But this is all about Empress energy. There's a brand new start. Someone, communication coming in about something new job-wise, communication coming in most likely from the divine about how to move forward. But it could be coming from a younger person, so you may not be wanting to take it as valid because he's like looking towards this area. No, I'll wait on the vi divine. And this person's all full, or this one's all full of new birth and understanding and clarity. It's almost like, this is why I mean, it's like you've gotten the information already, but you're looking in the wrong direction, perhaps. Oh, yeah. This is about celebrating a happy home, building a solid foundation. Perhaps there's going to be some communication that comes through that is really going to be reason to celebrate because it's going to help you build a firm foundation. It could be someone simply saying, hey, what about that other thing you were talking about before someone come and told you about? And you're like, well... Huh. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that in a long time. Wait a second. And then once you start to ponder that, all of a sudden that clarity comes in from the divine about a way to move forward. All right. Let's read this. A blessing of power. So maybe there's some sort of feeling of lack of power here. Lack of... A blessing of power. It's not even about lack. It's about power coming to you all of a sudden. It helps you spread your wings and it's like as if by magic you're set free into the brand new. With this, Gifts from the Fairies, you can now work with your power in blessed ways. May this gift connect you more deeply with your own innate and natural power. May you feel it arise from within you, right from your own inner sun. Interesting, that's the Leo card. Or is it Aries? Can't remember. But it's a sun sign nonetheless. With a touch of fairy wand, a moment of light shining upon you that warms you and helps you trust this great force within you. With this activation comes your ability to create positive, beautiful, caring, compassionate change within the world and within your world. And when your power arises, you will bring substance, meaning, and goodness and find the willpower and drive you need to fulfill the promise of your own innate talents and gifts. With this power, you now create and recreate your own world and find ways to help support others and feel the safety of bringing their own power to birth. For when we are all powerful, we no longer give our power away to institutions or organizations or to governments. We all become shining change, or change makers, divine catalysts who make a difference within the world, allowing life to shape us, but leaving a mark upon the world which generations after us may be grateful for. The fairies bless you with this gift of your own natural power, no longer indebted by fear, doubt, and worry about its misuse. There is a force within you and it can be guided and worked with, nurtured and directed, and it can come to support your very best self. This gift, this great blessing of the fairies is now yours. Expect significant changes to take place from this day. In this way, you may restore your trust in the wisdom and goodness of your own power, blessing friends, and feel the gifts 
of the power within the gift that the fairies have shown you this day so this this guy here this king of wands is all about ignition he's the guy that takes the match and strikes it it's like an ignition point just like this card says igniting the power within you ignites the power within many it's a ripple effect it's like fire that just takes over and grows and brings beauty into the world through you because it's like you are the activation point you're the ignition point look at this and that one card flipped over it's the star a wish granted having the power to move forward the feeling that i am in power and i can move forward would absolutely be a wish granted it's going to bring that healing you seek it really is a blessing of power how beautiful is that i don't even think you realize how powerful you are look at that the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune spinning this is like this is a time of massive change there's hope here in this massive change the thing is is that your emotions are healing and i believe opening to a greater understanding of who you are and it's like I just don't want the old. I want the new. I want I want to walk away from the emotional crap and I want the new. Yeah, you're, it's almost like you're going to fight this change forward, this positive change forward, because you might not think that it's as positive as it looks. This is about brand new beginnings, this card here brand new beginnings with everything you've known up till now we're in a time of rethinking regrouping re-inspiring re-everythinging and when we do that we sometimes look at something from a different perspective than we'd ever looked at it before sometimes look at someone in a different way than we'd ever looked at them before this could be about an offer to move forward or to heal something that you are very, very guarded about. But look at this perfect match here in energy. These two people match each other beautifully and there's fair and just decisions that need to happen. This is divine justice, this person coming with this offer or this thing. The divine bringing this in could very well be through another fire sign, doesn't have to be, it could be Libra. Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, or Leo are the signs on the board so far. Gemini. We're in Gemini season right now. So this could very well come to you between Gemini season and Leo season. There's something about the scales of balance being weighed here. And it's got to do with what you're bringing to reality in the 3D world we live in. Because all of these here numbers added up together make an 8. It's very spiritual, it's very divinely guided, and it's all about flowing. There's something here to do with karma. It's something that's karmically brought to you. It's what you deserve. And it's sweet results await, so it's very good. Whatever it is, is very good. Let's read this sweet results await, shall we? Be Spirit, card number seven. The Be Spirit message is that sweet rewards are on their way if you are willing to get your ego out of the way and immerse yourself in the connected energy of all things. Be Spirit knows not to let a sense of being a separate self get in the way of good thing spirit is always producing honey miracles and magic are everywhere when you connect with the great hive you are vibrating and buzzing in exquisite harmony with all be spirit asks that your focus be a connectivity your body heart soul and psyche experience total interconnectedness and a true integration when you self forget when you remember that you are part of a greater unified consciousness Moving from separation into connection, from self-centered limitation to spirit-centered infinite possibility and potential. You become busy as a bee, enjoying the gifts of bee spirit, 
fully in alignment with your highest expression of yourself. Your heart opens and creativity rushes through you seemingly without effort as you experience that experience that nothing feels like work. Industriousness is driven by enthusiasm and inner motivation, and time seems to fly by quickly as the hive supports you in the making of honey. Do you feel the presence of your helpers in the hidden realms adding their energy to your creations? Magical results are taking form and will be sweeter than you expect. Bee Spirit wants you to remember that your part in the divine partnership with the conscious universe is being rewarded even if you can't see that yet and ask that you share your good fortune as there is plenty of honey for all. Be a part of the larger whole, the force that brings forth all that is sweet and delightful. When Bee Spirit comes as your protector, she asks that you be very honest with yourself. Do you want to taste the sweet honey others have been making, but you believe is unattainable for you? Do you wonder how others ended up with so much magic hun magical honey when you seem to have none? Have you bought into the illusion of separation and become convinced that you can't have what others in the hive enjoy? Do you separate from the hive to do it all on your own or to hoard the honey you have? Unwilling to trust that there is plenty of support and plenty of sweetness to go around. If you have been overworking or overdoing and have not given yourself any time to enjoy the sweetness of your life, Bee Spirit is telling you to stop and recharge. Perhaps you're afraid that if you don't get something done, it just won't get done. However, even busy bees need to take a break. And when they do, the honey still gets made. So remind yourself that sweetness is everywhere and available to you always when you need it. So here we have a decision and a judgment about whether to allow sweetness to come into a situation that was sour. It's like huh. it's almost like someone made lemons, lemonade out of lemons, but needed to add a little more sugar. It's already sweet. Life is sweet and I can withstand it, but damn, there's more I want. I want it to be impeccable. <laughs> want it to be impeccable, huh? Got the two of cups here. Coming into alignment with another and agreeing on movement forward where emotions are concerned. I want it to be impeccable. Sweet results await when you put the time and effort in. This is also the marriage card. We have the lover's card. There could be decisions, fair and just decisions that bring healing, positive movement forward between someone who was with somebody previously. And coming out of that situation, it seems there will be positive movement forward here. Now, this is also something coming back around in order to work something out perhaps something that didn't work out previously that has made you feel this could be job wise relationship wise in a job reading this is about stable uh celebration for job it's about leveling up could be even job promotion this is also about them bringing in enough money to have stable home environment and celebration around that this is about contracts could be contract between a libra and a fire sign follow about fair and just decisions Aquarius energy here as well. We got Sag energy here. Judgment, the divine blowing their trumpet, waking you up from a time of slumber to take you into the glory, into the new. Perhaps you didn't ever think it was going to happen and then bam, as all of a sudden, as if by magic, you're set free. Just like in the, the Daily Hope video at the beginning. Somehow then we start to collect pieces of ourselves we didn't understand or realize we'd lost along the way. Faith in love, healing in love, hope in emotional joy. Perhaps some of them are very focused on their work. Sweet results await. Hmm, reminds me of you catch more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. Someone who's been in and out of your life possibly or couldn't commit before this this is information coming to you about something that's going to set you free and it could be fleeting information uh it's going to give you more options that's for sure more options than you'd actually thought you had before perhaps you have more options than you think you do 
and there's been some, or some sort of illusion, but someone's definitely, with this communication coming in, it's divinely guided, and you're going to be able to make a firm choice. King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy, sitting, sitting there feeling solid. Whether your money is financially stable, whether you own your own house or not, it doesn't matter. You're feeling solid and feeling good about the choices that you're making. I think there's something that eludes you in this life, and it could be of an emotional nature. How, like I've got the rest figured out, but the emotions are, are the issue. More communication coming in. There's a decision that's going to be made, and some people are going to have some something to say about it, I'd say. This could be a Libra coming in towards a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or somebody who's made some money could be through illusionary means perhaps someone had an illusion about someone's feelings for another and viewed that person as a player or that they might just go find someone new because they didn't have a there was a self-confidence issue and the self-confidence issue made them actually push the person that they were with away to another and they thought if they actually let them go that then they could have better than they were but the problem is, it seems to me, is that that person doesn't want something different. They actually believe that what they have was the best anyway. This is about loving someone for who they are. I had someone, I get, I'm getting that someone's almost angry about the fact that they didn't move on. Because if they don't move on, then I have to make choices about my life I don't really want to make. But you have everything in your arsenal to create this, to bring about the beauty, central energy. There's There's been something here that's come to a kaput before all this card reading. Temporary pause and action seeds well planted, unnecessary worry. There's something about wanting to nurture something and grow something, and you have been. And there will absolutely be celebration come here. Now, a lot of people say, well, the Three of Cups is about a third-party situation. Definitely could be, but in this reading, I'm not getting third. There's only three card. I'm not getting it's about another mate or somebody's in love with somebody else or this or that or the other. This could be a family situation where family's opinions are getting involved in between two people possibly that want to be together. Someone may have taken advice from family members that wasn't good advice even job-wise or financial-wise. Perhaps wanting to make family happy because, you know, let's face it, a lot of times when things don't work out in relationships our families are there to help pick up the pieces so therefore we put our families as the highest priority above all because they're the ones that are there over the long haul but the thing is is in that attitude you don't allow the beauty you don't allow the new person or the person that you love to come in and be part of that family that's the issue with that kind of thinking it's almost like, a, well, my family's here for me, and if you don't and I don't work, then, you know, it's cool because I got my family. So that's already putting the energy out there that we're not going to work. I myself have done that, and I've had to have a change in understanding. It's like, what if that person wants to become your family as well, but you've already put up the boundary saying, well, you will never be family. So see, I've had to do that work myself, so I understand that whole thought process there anyways that's what I have going on for this reading I hope this resonates for you guys I'm being told to pull a flower of life card let's see what we got flower of life coming on here for the weekend hope There's a lot of togetherness, a lot of love in this reading. There's a lot of celebration and a lot of absolute divine movement forward, giving you the power to head to what you want to create and the power to make it as sweet as you desire. Crystal bath. Hold your favorite crystals, close your eyes, and imagine you are walking down a flight of stairs to a beautiful crystal bath filled with healing waters. Whatever comes to your mind as you move towards your bath, let it arise and guide you to a deeper feeling within you. It might feel raw, but allow yourself to ease into it like a hot bath. 
it may sting a little to start with, but when you eventually sit in it, it feels so soothing. Step into your crystal bath and be healed and soothed by your revitalizing waters. Allow all that comes up to be there. Begin to experience yourself on a more intimate level. Surrender to the process and release all resistance. Feel free as wave after wave of healing, soothing crystal liquid light and love flows over and within you. Stay here for as long as you want. When you feel ready, open your eyes and see your world through cl crystal clear eyes. And this is about finding clarity as well. So I feel that's very fitting. Sit with the energies that aren't, you know, easy necessarily to sit with. And then picture yourself as cleansed and able to move forward. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again soon.